Hi there guys, welcome back to another Wooden Spoon Warriors video. Uh, my name's Ben and today we're going to go over uh, a basic um, video of how I made uh, my first wargaming uh, terrain pieces for the middle of a strategy battle game. Uh, just a cheap and cheerful and quick method of how to make some basic wargaming war game terrain uh, to get on your tables um, at a cheap price that you can do at home with a few basic materials that you can get from your local um, supermarkets or uh, your local hardware stores, your, 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 your charity, not charity shops, your um, value stores, you know, like your B&Ms, Poundland, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, we'll just have a quick look at how I made these. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you later. Okay guys, so today we're gonna go through the process of how I made these cheap, uh, simple and relatively effective uh, pieces of terrain, these hills. So first things first, um, we're gonna go through the list of materials you need to build it, and then I'll quickly show you the process of how I made it. So these are the basic materials you'll need to start making your own wargaming terrain. Uh, so I've got some three to four mil uh, foam card, foam board card, I got a few years back from a hobby shop cost a couple of quid a sheet. Um, some all purpose filler I got for a couple of quid from Tesco, a couple of cheap brushes, uh, some ballast from Woodland Scenics, some expanding foam, some box down of PVA glue, and then some paints. Uh, the tall bottles of paint are just acrylic paint that I nicked from my daughter's painting uh, collection and I've got two tester pots from Wilco for some different colour browns that I use for dry brushing uh, later on in the process. So I'll show you the uh, next step now. So first things first, you're going to want to take your expanding foam. Uh, I got this from b and I think, uh, or you can pick it up from your local hardware store for a couple of quid. And you're going to want to spray it down onto a bit of baking um, paper, greaseproof paper, or I use just a, an off-cut of cardboard. And you're just going to want to spray it in uh, small little blobs. Leave it to expand overnight. And it should expand nicely into these small little blobs. This is the basis form uh, that you're going to use for your hill. Uh, all I did then was get a little bit of sandpaper. Just sand the bottom flat and smooth. Uh, so it sits nice and flat on a flat surface. The next stage is to take your uh, expanded foam and draw around uh, the area, the template that you want on your um, your foam card to make your base. So once you've done that, uh, you'll then use a standing blade uh, or a small coping saw to cut the profile around the edge of the um, expanded foam uh, and cut it out to make your base. Uh, put a bevel on it and then PVA it down. So the stage after that is we've got the expanded foam stuck down, I PVA'd it down. Um, this is one I've done a while ago. Uh, and I've then, using a standing blade, I've uh, cut into the edges to try and form, or beveled it to try and form my uh, basis for my rock shape. I then covered it in one layer of all-purpose filler. As you can see, it's very rough. Because of its expanded foam, you're gonna get a lot of air holes, as you can see there there and there. So all you do is chuck a layer of polyfiller over it or all-purpose filler like I've done, wait for it to dry. Uh, unfortunately I've run out of filler at the minute, I need to get some more. But what you'll need to do after that is a second layer of filler, just wet your fingers and smooth it all out. Um, and once that's dried you can then sand it off to get it to look more like a rock style shape. So the next stage after this process, like I said, once it's had the second layer of filler and been sanded and uh, smoothed down to the shape you want, um, I then just primed it with some uh, some black acrylic paint. Uh, and once that's dried, I've then used the PVA glue to put some ballast, some grit and sand, just to texture the uh, edges. You can't really see it because I've uh, textured it and then I've applied static grass over the top, but it's just in case any of the static grass comes off, it still looks, it's got that earthy texture. Once I've textured it and the texture's dried, I've then added some 
brown paint just around all the earthy edges um, uh, with a bit of PVA glue mixed in just to seal it all off um, and I've also done a second thin layer watered down with PVA glue of the black over the stone area um, after that I've then dry brushed the earth with the lighter shade this emulsion tester pot just to give it a more natural look uh, and then I've also mixed the white and the black because it was only colours that my uh, my daughter had in her in her uh, paints, a box of paints, uh, to make different shades of grey. And then, as you can see, a very rough and rough and ready using a a large brush, using a two inch brush, just over brushed different shades, uh, varying shades over the top um, of the of this piece. And then I've just applied some static grass on top to finish. It's not the best looking piece, it won't ever win any prizes. It's my first real few attempts of, uh, of terrain. Look at that piece and then a slightly smaller, smaller hill. Uh, like I said, it won't win any, won't win any prizes for the best terrain, uh, but it's just a quick uh, and simple method, quick and easy way of getting some um, cheap wargaming terrain uh, on the table. Uh, I'm hoping in future to build a four by four board made of two foot by two foot tiles. So when I get round to doing that in the future, um, uh, I will uh, I will obviously video the process and uh, bring you guys along for the ride if you want. Uh, I'm also hoping to build a Barlin's tomb uh, as well in the near future for my Middle Earth strategy battle game uh, system. So I've just uh, having just made these first hills. Uh, I am really enthused to start making some more terrain. Um, like I said, it's not going to be to a fantastic standard, but I'll be showing you how to do it cheap and cheerfully and just to get some stuff on the board to fill out your gaming boards uh, so you can enjoy whatever gaming system or hobby system it is that you enjoy. Um, so if you like the video, don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe. Um, pop a comment down if you uh, in the comment section if you have enjoyed it and you wish to see more. Um, just let me know. Uh, until next time, uh, happy hobbying.